All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Come on in, come on in. Good morning, good morning. All right. Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Hallelujah. Tessa H., good morning. Good morning, good morning. I see you coming in there. Good morning. Let me go ahead and get this up on my screen. Good morning to each and every one of you this morning. Pray your day, your night, your afternoon has started well. And let me go ahead and get this so I can send out my text message this morning. Hallelujah. Got a lot of things to share, a lot of things to cover in a short period of time. So come on in, do me a favor, hit that share button that's on your screen and go ahead and invite somebody uh, to join right along with us this morning in the presence of the Lord. We want you to definitely go ahead and be a social media evangelist and help us spread this great gospel of Jesus Christ all around the world. All right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me get this up on the screen here, and I think we are good to go. Sent. All right. The good news is you guys should receive a text message today after a long, long battle of the Texas. <laughs> good morning, good morning. I'll talk about that in just a moment. But nevertheless, good morning to each and every one of you that is tuning in this great, great uh, Tuesday. I almost said Monday. Uh, good morning, Evelyn Torres. Thank you for those stars this morning. We appreciate that love and that support. As always, you're always so faithful. I apologize that I'm a little dark this morning in my room uh, because, again, I told you guys I'm doing a little bit of changing things around. And so there's a lot we have to get done uh, to get our studio back the way it needs to be. And so I apologize for the dark, dark, darkness behind me. And hopefully by the end of this week, we can get that fixed and get that changed. Uh, but nevertheless, let me go ahead and greet many of you. Go ahead and start commenting again on the screen. Uh, so that way I can know that you are on. So I can know that you are there. Tina Wilkerson, good morning. Nancy Chavez, good morning. My mom, Deborah Inglero, uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good to have you on with me this morning. Uh, let me see who else we got. Teresa Reed, good morning, good morning. Monica Brighton, good morning, daughter to you. Good to have you on. Uh, Tammy Lewis, good morning. Vernell Charles, good morning. Uh, Charisma Divine, good morning. Ursula Thomas, good morning. Lakeisha Davis, good morning. Come on, let me know where you're watching from this morning. Jamika Roberts, good morning. Sandrine, good morning, daughter. Grace and peace be unto you. Mildred Darton, good morning. Good morning. Lachelle Miller, good morning. Frank Simpson, good Good morning, beloved KB. Good morning, Nancy Chavez, Simone Brewster. Good morning, uh, Teresa Thomas. Good morning, uh, Trina Colum. Good morning, good to have you on. Uh, Glenda Harris, good morning, good to see you. Brenda Cunningham, good morning, my dear daughter, good to see you. And to Carol Evans, good morning, daughter, blessings. Kishma D, good morning, good to see you on this morning. Verna Dunn, Harriet Gordon, good morning. Uh, Sheila Francis, good morning. Good to have you on as well. Uh, let me see. Uh, Lorena, good to have you on there on YouTube. Uh, Taliza32, good morning. Stephanie Timmons, good morning. Carol King, good morning. Dorothy Moss, good morning. Uh, Janine Colum, good to have you on this morning. Violet Bridges, good morning, my dear. Bless uh, Rewrite, good to see you, daughter. God bless you. Joseph P. Angle, my brother, good to see you there. Sandra Kennedy, good morning. Betty Pace, good morning. Good to have you on. Rents Valderrama there in Japan, good morning. Uh, Mandy uh, Cullum, good morning. Erica White, good morning. Kamisha, good morning. Uh, all of you that's coming in, y'all Paul, good morning. Bonnie Morgan, good morning. Jackie Bellino, good morning. Uh, Grace and peace be unto you. Vita Vita, good morning. Shannon Smith, good morning. Uh, all of you that's coming in, we're so grateful for you this morning. Again, go ahead and share. Nicole Hollis, good morning. Good to have you on. Uh, always a pleasure to see you. And to uh, Trenda Williams, good morning. Laverne Jackson, good morning. Barry Berry, good morning. Uh, Martha Pritchett there on YouTube. God bless you. Grace and peace be unto you this morning. Sister Gladys Gilts, good to see you, my dear. Uh, and let's see who else we got coming in. Penny Duo, good to see you this morning from Jackson, Mississippi. Good to have you on. Mandy Cullum, good morning. Uh, Natasha Soto, good to have you on, sis. God bless you. Debbie Lipke, good morning. Uh, Sally Dawson, good morning. Rovita Charles, good morning. 
Good to have you on. Uh, let me see who else we got. Mary Whitaker, Wanda Adams. Good morning. Marilyn Erskine Bryan. Good morning. Miss Lisa. Good morning. Barbara Thompson. Good morning. Uh, so many of you that's coming in. Jacqueline Fobbs. Good morning. Grace and peace be unto you. Good to have you on. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Come on, folks. Let's go ahead and share quickly as we can. Uh, Mona Wilson. Good morning, daughter. Good to have you on. As I always like to say, go ahead and share this to multiple different groups. Share it to your timeline. Uh, share it as as many times as you can send it out in the text message if you have to to invite somebody to join along with us bridget campbell good morning uh so many others that's coming in this morning grace and peace be unto you glad to be with you katina winston good morning my dear good to see you and hope all is well with you suzette smith good to have you on god bless you representing michigan on today uh good morning good morning good morning Come on, let me know. Shout out your city. Shout out your state. Shout out your region. Let me know where you're tuning in from on this morning. Today is going to be a great, great day in the presence of the Lord. Hope you are excited about what the Lord is about to do and what the Lord is about to release in your life. Uh, come on this morning. I see you coming in. Thank you uh, for sharing on multiple different platforms. Y'all, Paul, uh, Amy McGee, good morning, my dear. We got Australia is in the house this morning. Good morning. Columbus, Ohio is in the house. Uh, good morning, Patrick Morris. Uh, Mary uh, Chaver, uh, I can't see that on my screen. Chavira, I think that is. Bonnie's there. Uh, good morning. Uh, Tony, good morning. Come on, let me know where you're watching from. Brittany, good morning. Betty Monroe, good morning. Baby girl to you, good morning. Uh, Bobby Hollows, good morning. Pam Chandler, good morning. Let me know where you're watching from. I see Mississippi, Bahamas in the house this morning. Good morning. London, UK is locked in. Good morning. I see the United States is on. Good morning. I see somebody threw the flag up there. Good morning. Good to have you on. Reese. good morning. Kyle too. good morning. Good to have you on. Grace and peace be unto you this morning. All right. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Fort Worth is in the house. Good morning. I'm going to go ahead and get started this morning because, again, we got to begin to just go right into this. Uh, don't want to begin to prolong where I cannot finish this word uh, that the Lord gives us daily. But I want you to go ahead and just take a few moments to share the link that's on your screen. And so before we get ready to go into what we want to share this morning before we go into the announcements and certain things. Thank you, uh, Lawrence Jackson, for those stars. Uh, let me go ahead and get you to do what I need you to do and let me see what I need to see so we can activate the anointing of God. Amen. Right here on social media, right here on Command Your Day. Come on, wherever you are representing from, rising up, representing your city, your state, your region. Come on, let me see you engaging right now. You know what I'm getting ready to ask you to do and you know what I need to see. Come on, let me see you doing it now. Come on, I need to see the hearts. I need to see the lights going crazy on the screen this morning. Why? Because we are driving the devil crazy with our praise, with our worship, with our decree, and with our expectation. Can you go ahead and just tell somebody, I got crazy expectation on today. I don't know about you, but the devil has been trying me so very much. And you got to get to a place where you do not give in. Got, good morning, South Africa's in the house. I see you guys coming in. Come on, you got to go ahead and get to a place in your life where you say, I'm not going to let the enemy uh, begin to push me to a place where I lose my sanity and lose my peace. I want you to decree that this morning because many of you have been in that place. Many of you have been trying to figure out your next move. You've been trying to figure out what it is that the Lord is doing and what it is that the enemy is doing in your life. But I want to encourage you this morning. God is about to do uh, some great in my things for you and so come on go ahead continue to put those hearts up those lights up on the screen and we're going to go into the word here in just a moment uh, but again I'm just waiting till we get to a certain amount of numbers here so I can let people know uh, what is going on this morning uh, let me see uh, Jenna says she did not get the text this morning. So you should have gotten the text this morning. Uh, let me go ahead and just talk about that just a little bit. Uh, I wanted to wait till everybody got on, but I'll share it again. Um, okay. I'll have to go back and look at the comments there. I see some people messaging me. Uh, and so let me just give this, uh, really quickly before I go into the word. So we did, uh, switch back to our, other phone company so I could have my other cell phone connected where you can text me directly uh, because I really didn't like the fact of how things was going before. Some people in the Virgin Islands, some people in uh, the Bahamas was not getting my text messages uh, because of the, the service that we switched to uh, because we was trying to go to a cheaper service. 
Um, and so if you did not get the text this morning, it may be because you're not logged into the new system. The number just got ported over. Anytime a number gets ported, uh, you may drop off there. All right. And so if you just text the word connect uh, to the text message number, you should be reconnected uh, to my text messaging system, to my phone. And so that way you're not getting lost in the process because we know we had a lot of people join and connect with us uh, when we switched over to the new company because we have about 50 people joining every single day. Uh, but nevertheless, we had to begin to do that so that we can be able to communicate effectively. Yes, we have to pay more, but it's gonna be okay uh, because I believe and trust God that he's gonna to begin to take care of everything that we need to take care of. And so uh, if you did not get the text message this morning, uh, you can simply just text the word connect and I'll put that back on the screen because again, everything should be up and rolling now. Uh, and so you definitely can begin to do that. Uh, let me make sure I got the right one. Yeah, there we go. All right, so you can text the word connect uh, or stay connected rather uh, to the number 832-345-3602. That is the exact same number uh, that we've had before. But again, once the number is being ported to different sale pro providers, sometimes uh, people get lost in the transition there and the text messages may not have went through completely. Uh, Sandrine says, I did not, I didn't get the text this morning. Okay, so then maybe still activating some things, still working on some things. Uh, thank you, Eflin Matthews, for those stars this morning. And I appreciate that love, appreciate that support this morning. And so, you know, uh, anything thing that goes on with social media people that's why i tell y'all you got to get connected on every single way that you can uh, i see a lot of you saying you didn't get the text uh and so there's two different platforms that just got ported over yesterday and so it may be that you're still on the old uh platform system or something like that i'm not sure so just go ahead text connect again uh stay connected just to make sure uh you kind of get to the new system and then pretty soon prayerfully everything this week will be active the way that it needs to be active all right uh and so hopefully we can get that taken care of and everything will begin to start moving smoother uh because the problem was uh we had two different uh, just like Verizon and AT&T, both of them was using our same number at the same time. Uh, and it was really just causing a lot of issues. But, you know, I prophesied this many, many, many years ago. Uh, and so it's just happening right now that, you know, with technology, there's a lot of things that's going on. And that's why I want you guys to even follow me uh, on all different platforms, all different social media platforms. So that way you will always be notified when we're going live and never miss anything. All right. All right, so if you didn't get the text, we'll talk about it a little bit later. Just go ahead and text Stay Connected, uh, and we'll begin to take care of that, and hopefully everything will be taken care of later today. All right, so let's get into the Word, because I don't want to just spend my whole time talking about text messages this morning. Of course, again, I'll share it a little bit later, because I know some people are going to jump on a little bit later coming in, because maybe they didn't, they didn't receive the text, and then they'll begin to jump on and want to begin to know uh, how they can get connected with us. And so we'll definitely talk about that a little bit towards the end. But today I want to talk about God's blessings. I want you to go ahead and just type that on the screen this morning. God's blessings. And there's many of you that's watching me right now. I want you to begin to understand that God is greatly about to bless you. Thank you, Sandrine, for sharing that number uh, with Nikki there. Uh, and so I want, as you're typing that on the screen, there's so many things that happen in your life. There's so many things that can happen throughout the course of your day, uh, the course of the world that will begin to make you think that you have been exemplified from God's blessings. But I want to encourage your heart. Thank you, Sister Walker, for those stars. Uh, I want to encourage you to the magnitude to understand that God, did, he greatly wants to bless his people. And there are some of you that are saying, Lord, when uh, or why have I, have I not step, step, stepped into or tapped into that place of divine? blessings for my life? Why is it that I'm still struggling? Why is, why is it that I'm still facing so many things and challenges in my life? And you want, I want you to understand this. You got to begin to shift your mind and your focus on the things of God. And there are so many things in this world that gets us distracted. So many things that really just causes us to miss the mark of God sometimes. But how grateful and how faithful our God is, uh, he's, he's ever so much always concerned about blessing us, about enlarging our territory about causing great, great manifestations to be released. So I want you to go ahead and type, God is getting ready to bless me. Type that on the screen. Hallelujah. Come on, go ahead and type that, <coughs> excuse me, right there on the screen that God is about to bless me. 
And I want you to say that. I want you to speak that uh, because you need to confess that over your life and confess that over your day daily. Uh, because we know that we overcome by what? The word of our testimony. We overcome by speaking and decreeing and declaring the word of the Lord uh, concerning our lives. And so the more you begin to speak, decree a thing, the more it shall begin to manifest. And so we're coming this morning out of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Of course, we're going through our devotions uh, as we always do most most of the time. And so I want to remind you your devotions. Those of you that have ordered your devotion, uh, it should be coming to you this week. And so be mindful of that as you are waiting on that. Uh, it's really going to begin to be a great, great, great blessing to you. And so again, we're coming from Deuteronomy chapter 28. And many of us know this particular scripture, but I really want to just dissect it a little bit as it relates to the blessing that God has for us. And the main scripture here is Deuteronomy 28 verse 2. And it says, all these, all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. I'm going to read that one more time. And all these blessings shall come and overtake you you because you have obeyed the voice of the Lord your God. And even though this is Old Testament, this is still relevant to the New Testament because it talks about pretty much just our faithfulness and our commitment to the Lord. And so no matter what your attack is, no matter what you're going through in your life, you got to understand the enemy does not want you to remain committed to the things of the Lord. And so this is why things happen. This is why attacks come. The only reason attacks come is to try to deter you from the grace of God. You know, the enemy is going to try to do everything he can do to pull you away from the anointing, pull you away from your ministry, pull you away from your assignment. Because when you start functioning and operating in your assignment, that's when the enemy is really uh, after you because he does not want you to be effective for the kingdom of God. And so that's why many of us are under attack. That's why many of us, the Lord is greatly about to bless you and enlarge your territory because there's been so much that's been coming against you, so much uh, that you've been battling with in your mind, in your spirit, in your finances, just in your own personal life, that you are literally at the edge of saying, Lord, I don't know how much more I can take. I don't know what it is that I need to do, but Lord, I just need you to begin to change my situation, step into my situation, whatever it may be, because I cannot continue to live my life like this. Come on, has anybody been feeling like that lately the past few hours? You've been saying, Lord, if you don't step in and begin to change my situation, I, I, I'm, I'm at the point of no return. Term. And so the Bible tells us here, and I want you to understand this in verse number two. Uh, let's go back to verse number one before we go into verse number two. And I want to read this in its entirety so you can really begin to get a sense of what the Lord is saying uh, to the body of Christ. He says here in verse number one, now it shall come to pass. Now I want you to understand those few words there. Now it shall come to pass. And so no matter what you're facing in your life, no matter what the situation is in your life, you got to always tell yourself it will come to pass. It shall come come to pass. And so there's a lot of things that's going on in your life right now that makes you feel like it's not going to come to pass. Come on, I know your back is up against the wall. I know there's frustration. I know there's so many attacks uh, that's really just coming against you in this moment. But the Bible tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 that now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. So I want you to understand there is a shift that's about to take place. And you've heard me say this many times before. What is the shift that is taking place? He says this in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. He says, I command you this day that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. The shift is going to take place in the earth. And so whatever it is that you are seeing happening in the world right now, even with the war that's going on in Israel, even with the, the things that's happening in Haiti right now. The Bible tells us of these things. He says, in the last days, there will be wars and rumors of wars. We're not ignorant to what the word says as it relates to the end times and relates to the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But here's what the Bible tells us. He says, I will begin to set you high above all nations of the earth. Can I go ahead and encourage 
you whatever's going on right now in your nation in your region in your life God says I shall begin to exalt you higher than that God's going to begin to lift you up above that issue above that pain above that war above that situation a thousand may fall at your left ten thousand at your right but it shall not come now your dwelling and so many of us have begun to allow the spirit of fear to come in to say Lord look at what's going on what's going to happen with the economy what's going to begin to happen financially for me what's going to begin to happen now now that I've taken a hit now that I've been through this attack now that all these things are happening how am I going to survive how am I going to make it through you're going to make it through the same way you've always made it through and that is with the help of the Lord that is with you serving the Lord and so we're, we understand what's going on we are not ignorant of what is taking place we know that prophecy has to be fulfilled come on we're not of those that unbelieve and do not believe in what the word says if we read our Bible we understand what the Bible says he says if we're going to reign with him we'll also what suffer with him and so some of us may be going through a bit of suffering right now we may be going through some type of affliction right now but what does the Bible tell us it is only a light affliction it is only temporary and so in your temporary place of affliction don't allow the enemy to get you to curse God and die come on some of you are in a job situation right now where the enemy is touching your body the enemy has touched your family members he's touched your finances he's touched everything that you have and everybody around you is telling you why don't you just curse God and die but what did Job say Job said I cannot begin to do this he even had to tell his wife you talk like a foolish woman why because when the enemy is on your trail because of who you are in God he will let everybody in, in your circle everybody close to you come and attack you and there's no regard to the fact that you are a child of God and so even there Job had to tell everybody around him listen I got to pull away because I know though he slayed me, I'm still going to trust God. And even though Job had reached his breaking point, Job had got to the place where he wanted to question God. And he said, hold up, you know what? I I've been questioning God about these things. I'm acting out of character. And here's what I want to drop in somebody's spirit. Don't allow your affliction to get you to act out of character with God. Don't allow your affliction to get you to question God in a way that you've never questioned him before. Because now... God is looking at you and said, you mean to tell me I allowed the enemy just one moment into your life and half of what he is telling me is true. The only reason the enemy wanted to attack you is because of what? The heads that I had on your life. Come on, because you was my seed. You was my child. And I'm telling you right now, that's why many of you, you are going through a Job situation because you are in the place where the enemy says, let me attack them. Because the only reason that they are serving you, the only reason they're praising you, the only reason they are saying that you are their, the Lord, their God, is because of what you are doing for them. You keep on blessing them. You keep on putting that hedge of protection around them. Just take that hedge away just for a moment and let me begin to go. That's why it's temporary, because it's only a trying of your faith. And so we got to understand, as long as we're in this thing, uh, we're going to begin to go through. The Bible never tells us we will not go through, but it always demonstrates how we should go through. Hallelujah. Can you tell somebody this morning, I'm going through, I'm going through with power this morning. I'm going through not wavering in my faith and I'm coming out of this situation that I'm in even stronger than before because the Lord is about to set me high above all the nations of the earth. God is about to exalt me in the earth realm. And come on, some of y'all need to prophesy that over your life and say, the Lord is about to exalt me high in the earth. Come on, prophesy that over somebody this morning and say, the Lord is about to exalt me high in the earth. And here's what the, uh, the theme verse is this morning when it says in verse number two. Again, those of you that just jumped on, I seen somebody say, I just got on a little bit late. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse number two. And it says, all these blessings shall come in upon you and overtake you because you obeyed the voice of the Lord your God. And so in this season, it's going to be so important that you obey the voice of the Lord, not the voice of the television, not the voice of your friends, but the voice of the Lord. Type on somebody's comment right now and say, just obey God. Come on, I, need, I, I should have worn my t-shirt this morning that says obey God just obey God 
because there's a lot of other things that you can obey. But this is the point you got to begin to get. He says, all the blessings shall come and overtake you uh, because you obeyed the voice of the Lord your God. And so in your season of obedience, there are some things that will begin to overtake you. Wealth will overtake you. Come on, but we got to be obedient to what the Lord tells us to do. And here's what I heard the Lord say. The things that I've had you doing in times past is not even comparable to what I'm getting ready to call you to do. There's so much more that the Lord is requiring of you, so much more that the Lord is about to begin to shift us into as a body of believers. And so the way of doing business in the past is going to be completely doing a different way of doing business in the future. And God says many of us will not understand this new process of this new method that he is calling the saints into. He says, but I need you to adapt to what I'm getting ready to do. Because behold, what does Isaiah say? Behold, I shall do a new thing and it shall begin to spring forth. And so the Lord is about to do something new. He's about to do in he, he's about to do new tactics and new strategies that we've never seen before. And hear me, uh, prophetically as I release this, we are about to see a remnant of people coming into the house of God that we have never seen before. Come on, it took the church a little bit and some of the churches still ain't gotten used to the people with tattoos. They, uh, they, they're still trying to get used to people with piercings and things like that. No, the Lord says, I'm sending people in in this season that look straight like gangsters. Y'all ain't talking to me in here. He said, I'm sending people in the in, inside my house uh, that's really... Uh, their insides is pure, but the outside, they all washed up. They're not going to look like the typical believer that you have seen in times past. They're not going to be wearing the suit and tie. They're not going to be wearing the Gucci and the Louis Vuitton. Come on, y'all ain't talking to me this morning. He says there is a remnant uh, that is coming uh, that's going to begin to be raised up in the earth realm that does not look like the typical believer that you have been used to. And we're about to see that wave of people coming in. And he says many will begin to fall by the wayside because they're going to begin to miss it because of their appearance. And the Lord says, in this season, what I'm about to do is something that has never been done before. It's a new strategy. It's a new method because so many of us have been caught, in our, caught up in our methods that we have missed the ministry. Okay, uh, we've been caught up in our methods that we have missed the ministry. And the Lord says, I'm getting ready to begin to do something brand new in ministry because of what's coming upon the face of the earth. Because where the gospel is about to be preached is not just in a place with suit and tie. It's not just in a place with Gucci and Louis Vuitton. Come on, nothing wrong with none of those things. If you like nice things, I'm not talking about you or not downing you or anything like that. But the Lord says there is another generation that is coming uh, that is going to usher in this revival of the Lord. That's going to begin to usher in this next move of the Holy Spirit. The way you have experienced church and ministry will not look the same way it has the past five years ago. And the Lord says moving into this next season, we're about to see a different method, a different strategy, a different uh, 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 per se avenue as it relates to what the Lord is about to release upon the earth realm. And he says, I want you to understand this. These things will come and overtake you if you hearken to the voice of the Lord. And so the Lord's going to begin to speak to us. Many of you that are pastors, many of you uh, that serve in ministry, the Lord is about to speak to you because he wants to use you. And we're coming into a season, watch this, where God says, I'm, it's not that I'm skipping over my servant, the prophet. He says, but I'm getting ready to speak directly to my people. And so yes, being connected to a prophetic, a prophetic voice is very important in this season, but it's more important that you have your voice inclined to the the mouth of, of God, the, uh, the mouth of heaven, the, the, the atmosphere of heaven, so that you can begin to hear the voice of God clearly for yourself. And so we got to be in this place, hallelujah, where we begin to process and obey God to the capacity of what he's trying to do. Verse number three says, blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the country. This, this is territorial blessings here. This is blessings in the city, blessings in the country. And so many of you that represent your country, represent your city, God's about to bless your city. He's about to bless your region. And here's what it says in verse four, blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Many of you that have been going through in your body, so many attacks. Listen, this is the areas that God is about to bless. He says, the produce of your 
ground and the increase of your herds, the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flocks. He says, blessed shall be your basket and your needle and bowl. We're talking about the thing that stores your prosperity, the things that holds your money. We're talking about your bank accounts, your banking systems. Come on, your wallets, your bags, the things that you begin to hold wealth and prosperity and increase in. The Lord says, I'm about to seal the bag. I'm about to cause the blessings to come in and begin to cause the produce and the increase to begin to spring forth. He says, blessed shall be your basket and your needle and bow. Blessed shall ye be when you come in and blessed when you are going out. Come on, this is the season that your blessings will no longer keep coming and going. Can you prophesy this morning and say, my blessings are about to stay. Come on, no more coming and going. Come on, I, I'm not going to continue to go through that roller coaster ride of wealth. Come on, that roller coaster ride of increase. One moment I'm up, then the next minute I'm down. One minute things are going good, then the next minute all hell is breaking loose. No, there's about to be a consistent flow of what the Lord is about to do in your life. He says, blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. He said, the Lord will cause your enemies to rise against you to be defeated before your faith face. And there's many of you, the reason why you've experienced so many great attacks is because of the people that's speaking against you. They're speaking against your anointing. And you cannot be ignorant to the fact that you don't think that people are really speaking against you. Some of the people that you got in your inner circle are speaking negative concerning your situation. And so you got to know how to begin to pray and shut down every negative word that has been spoken against your assignment, spoken against your destiny. And the Bible says he will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out one way, but flee before you seven ways. And so you got to begin to understand what the Lord is saying. I want you to grab this. Every way that the enemy has came in, the Lord is about to cause, cause them to begin to flee seven different ways. And when the enemy leaves out of your life this time, watch what happens. The Lord will command the blessing on your storehouse and in all to which you set your hands, he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Can I just prophesy this to about five people? The Lord is about to give you land. The, the Lord is about to give you property. There's many of you, the Lord says it's been delayed, but it's not denied. And the Lord says, this is the season I'm about to give it to you. I'm granting your request. And he even in verse 9 is the verse I want you to walk away from with today. Here's what it says. The Lord will establish you as his holy people to himself. This is why the Lord says you must be established. This is why the Lord says I'm going to make you wealthy. Not that it's all about money. Not that it's all about having nice things because that has nothing to do with it. Because when you die, you can't take none of that stuff with you. But the Lord says I need you to be prosperous in the earth realm so that your influence can change. The Lord's going to make many of you blessed because of your influence. He's going to begin to call some things things to happen so that you can lead people to him. He says, I'm going to establish you as my holy people to myself, just as he sworn to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord, your God and walk in his ways, he says, then all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord. I want you to understand this. It, it, you may not have people calling you pastor, prophet, apostle, but let me tell you this, this morning, you are called by the Lord. Let me say it again. Because somebody needs to hear that this morning. I said, you are called by the Lord. Go ahead and just comment on somebody's comment right now and say, you are called by the Lord. And many of you, because of your calling that's upon your life, the Lord says your level of influence is about to change. People are about to start listening to your language, listening to what you have to say instead of ignoring what you have to say. This is the season, people of God, we got to come together and work together. This is not the time to be divided. This is not the time to, uh, to be a lone ranger. Hear me. The Lord says you don't have to do life alone. We got to come together. What did I just say before? One can put a thousand, but two can put 10,000 to flight. And the enemy wants you to think that you can do this thing by yourself, that you don't need nobody else. You can handle it. Come on. But you need me and I need you. Can you say that to somebody? I need you and you need me. Come on, because we're all a part of God's body. And I need you to understand that the body got to begin to start working together. And as the devotion says this morning from Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 2, we just read that God's blessings for today. It says, I 
come before you with a heart filled of gratitude and anticipation for the blessings you have promised. Come on, there must be some type of anticipation. Come on, what is anticipation? Where you are patiently waiting on God. You're eagerly expecting the unexpected. You're eagerly expecting the blessings of God, the peace of God, the favor of God, the prosperity of God. You are eagerly anticipating the blessings that God has promised unto you. So every day you get a, you get up and, and rise up in the morning, you ought to be in great expectation. Uh, that's why I have an expectation list that I read and decree and declare over my life, over my family, every single morning. I don't let a day go by. I do it every single morning where I speak my expectations. I decree and declare what I'm expecting the Lord to do, what I'm anticipating God to do. And I challenge many of you to start doing that on a daily basis that every day you wake up, come on, you may not have it written out just yet, but go ahead, write down some expectations, put it in your notes in your phone and say, this is what I'm anticipating God to do in my life. Not just for today, but I'm talking about throughout the course of your life. What are you expecting God to do? You need to be in a place where you say, Lord, I'm expecting you to heal my body. And so every day when you get up, you are expecting to see progress in your body. Some of you are expecting God to open a door financially for you. Every day you get up, you ought to be knocking on that door saying, Lord, I'm expecting this door to open. You don't just be in anticipation by sitting back doing nothing. When you are anticipating something, you're standing in attention. You're standing ready. Come on. When, when, when you go to your favorite store and shop or your favorite restaurant and there's a line out outside the door. You're anticipating what? To receive something that you got to pay for. The only difference in this is, it's only going to cost you your praise and your worship. Oh, can I help somebody this morning? And so you got to be standing ready for God to bless you. You got to be in a position where you say, God, I may be going through hell right now. My back may be against the wall. I may have taken a hit. Maybe, be, maybe dealing with a whole lot of issues in my life. But God, I'm still ready and anticipating a move of God. Every day I wake up, I'm, I'm I'm anticipating a mighty move of God. God, you're about to move. You're about to blow my mind today. I'm not looking at my problem. I'm not looking at my situation. I'm not looking at what I got to do. I'm anticipating God to fuel me with strength. I'm anticipating God to do something he ain't never done before. I'm anticipating God to bless the people connected to me. Come on, I know some of y'all don't talk like that, but that's part of obeying God and part of receiving the blessing on God. How many people do you pray for besides your Yourself. And that's what I do daily. And I say, Lord, all of you that's connected to me, Lord, bless them, enlarge their territory. Let it cause them no sorrow. Why? Because I want to see God's people blessed and I'm anticipating God to bless you. It says, in anticipation for the blessing that he has promised me. Your word assures me in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 2, all these things shall come upon me and overtake me because you have obeyed the voice of the Lord your God. He says, what a confronting truth. Watch this. This is a confronting truth. He said, I trust in your unfailing love. I want to tell somebody today, God's love is unfailing. I, I, I just felt the Lord just stop me right there. God's love for you is unfailing. And so you got to trust his unfailing love and his guidance. And many of us, the problem is we may not always trust his guidance. Because we don't know where the Lord is leading us. But can I just tell somebody this morning, trust God. Can you type that on somebody's comment and just tell them, say, trust God today. Trust God. Thank you, Sister Banks, for those stars. All of you that have been sending up stars, I know I've just been flowing. I appreciate the stars this morning. Lord, I declare today that your blessings are on their way. Uh, come on, can you just go ahead and say that this morning? My blessing is on the way. I prophesy that over every one of you that are watching, all 600 and something you watching this morning, I decree and declare right now that the blessings are on their way. Come on, can you decree that over somebody's comment? Can you comment that on somebody's comment and say your blessing is on the way? Hallelujah. Overtaking you as you walk in obedience to your will. And that's what I'm praying for many people that as the blessing comes, that we won't just be in a place where we obey God because we want a blessing, but we're obeying God because we trust his word. I am reminded of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, that I know the thoughts that I have toward you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace, not of evil. We talked about this the other day. To give you a future and of hope. It says, your plans for me are good, and I believe that your blessings will surpass my expectations. Can I encourage somebody this morning? The way God is about to bless you will supersede your expectations. 
Are you with me this morning? I need you to go ahead and share. I know I haven't told you to share this morning. Go ahead and share the link with somebody if you believe that these blessings are about to overtake you. The blessing of the Lord that is about to come upon your life will surpass your expectations. Help me to remain steadfast and in faith and patient in waiting, knowing that your timing is perfect. Y'all remember the old church when they say he may not come when you want him, but he is always on time. People, I'm telling you, you may be in a place in your life, oh, I feel this this morning, where you're saying, Lord, I don't know which way my situation is going to turn. I need you to show up, but God is saying it's not time yet. I'm still waiting on another opportunity. I'm waiting for some more people to leave your life and some new ones to come into your life. Come on, this is the season. Watch this. He says, may your word be a lamp to my feet. And a light to my path, according to Psalms chapter 119, 105, guiding me toward the abundant life you have promised. Come on, I decree and declare today that the Lord is about to guide you into the abundant life that he has promised for you. Can you say that this morning? Holy Spirit, just guide me. Guide me to make proper decisions. Guide me to make the right decisions. Come on, guide me on the path of righteousness that I do not miss the blessing. I do not miss what the Lord has for me. And I'm praying for you this morning that you don't miss the timing of God and you don't miss the move of God. Come on, can you say that this morning? I'm not going to miss this next blessing from the Lord. I'm not going to miss it. I'm going to be in position and the Holy Spirit shall be my guide. Come on, I want to pray for you right now and decree and declare that it's coming. I need everybody to just type that on the screen right now. It's coming. Whatever your it is, I want to encourage you this morning that it is coming. Hallelujah. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. We don't put our trust in man. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. No matter what you're going through today, there's nothing too hard for him to handle. I want to give you this invitation this morning as I always do to many of you. I know there's maybe some first time viewers watching this morning. If this is your first time, we welcome you in the presence of the Lord. We thank God for you. Uh, thank you for hanging with us, receiving the word, even though our uh, uh, studio is not the uh, up to part of where it needs to be. I believe in doing things in order and in excellence. And so I apologize if it's a little dark behind me. I'm actually trying to get some new lighting installed today to brighten up the room. But nevertheless, I want to give you this invitation. If you're watching me this morning and you say, today, I want to give my life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Today, I want to make 100% sure I'm going to heaven. If that's your confession of faith, if that's your prayer today, and you're saying, Lord, it's me that's standing in the need of prayer. Today, I want to give my life to the Father. I made some mistakes, but God is a God that forgives us of those mistakes. It's never too late and it's never too soon to give your life to Jesus. And so if you're watching me right now and you say, that's me. I want to give my life to the Father. I want to make 100% sure I'm going to heaven. I want you to type the word me on the screen right now. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be ashamed. Because if you are afraid of him or ashamed of him, rather, then he will be ashamed of you. Are you with me this morning? Go ahead and just type the word me on the screen. And as you're typing the word me on the screen, I want you to pray this very simple prayer with me right now. Repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all of my sins. Today I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that your son Jesus died for my sins. And Lord, I believe that he was resurrected with all power in his hands. And so today I open the door to my heart to you and I ask you to come into my life, come into my heart, come into my soul. And I ask you to save me today. It's in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen and amen. And here's the good news. If you prayed that prayer, heaven is rejoicing just for you. And guess what? You have the whole Command Your Day family that is rejoicing with you right now. Come on, can we show everybody that typed the word me on the screen that we are rejoicing with them? Can we go ahead and put the hearts and likes on the screen? Make them go crazy on the screen right now. Let's celebrate with the people of God that have given their life to the Father on this morning. And we know that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly for them. And we want you to find you a good Bible-based church, a good Bible-teaching church. Uh, if you want to connect with us, and I can go ahead and put this on the screen before I pray for many of you all. Again, those of you that are online members, online disciples of this ministry, 
we want to remind you to text the word disciple all right again we just got our text messaging system back up i apologize for all the inconvenience uh that has caused many of you not being able to receive the text messages missing the text messages i'm not getting your text messages and so i definitely apologize for that but if you consider yourself an online disciple an online member of breakthrough harvest church or you want to become an online member of breakthrough harvest church just simply text the word disciple uh to 832-345-3602 so that way you'll be connected back to me even if you've already texted disciple before text it again uh so we can make sure we have you uh in my phone contacts so that way uh we can try to get these text messages back to you back on track the way they need to be and so i definitely appreciate all of you uh that's connecting with us and if you already have a church home you already have a pastor we're not here to take you away from your church uh uh, you can simply do the same thing. Just stay connected with us. And if you want to stay connected uh, and just uh, be notified when we go live here on social media and also uh, just stay connected with us, then text the word stay connected to that very same number that's on your screen right now. And I know TikTok, you guys can't see it, but you can inbox me and I can get you that number and I'll say it again here in just a moment. So be prepared to write it down. Uh, but if you want to just stay connected with us, text the word stay connected. Uh, even if you've already texted stay connected before, if you did not receive a text message this morning, uh, text stay connected again or disciple, whichever one you are. If you're an online member, text disciple. And if you just want to stay connected, text stay connected. You don't have to do both. Just whichever one you whichever one you consider yourself. If you're just a person who, who just wants to stay connected, then just stay connected. But if you consider yourself an online member, then you want to text the word disciple. All right. And hopefully this week we can get all these things squared away and get situated so you're back receiving the text message and I'm receiving your text messages as well. All right. And so these are the ways to stay connected with me. So again, go ahead and do that. TikTok, it is 832 three, four, five, three, six, zero, two. I hope you caught it. All right. All right. And so uh, make sure you definitely do that. And also I always tell people, make sure you follow me on all social media platforms. Definitely do that. Uh, I want to encourage you to uh, definitely follow me on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. And if you're watching on these particular platforms and you have these other platforms as, as it relates to social media, definitely go ahead and connect with us there on social media. Uh, also, I was letting people know some of you have decided to become Kingdom Paymasters. Again, this is not for people today uh, uh, asking you for a seat or anything today. I'm just talking to the people who know my heart and already been with me and already made them in their mind that they want to be a Kingdom Paymaster. And so what I need you to do, those of you uh, that want to become a kingdom paymaster, or if you are already a kingdom paymaster, which means you have committed to uh, sowing uh, $100 per week every given Friday uh, into the ministry that will help us uh, with everything that we have going on and I will be doing a private Zoom with you all to discuss a lot of these things those of you so you can know where your seat is going what we need to be doing and why it's so important that we are believing God for Kingdom Pay Masters as long with the benefits that you will receive from me personally as becoming uh, a Kingdom Pay Master so you will have direct one-on-one -on -one access to me uh, as well and you will also be a part of our inner circle that we're doing so that you can be able to uh, get free resources and all those different types of things. And so if you have signed up to be a kingdom paymaster, many of you gave on last Friday, I need you to text the word kingdom, all right? Text the word kingdom to 832-345-3602 so that way I have con I can get in contact with you uh, to message you all directly, all right? And so if you are becoming a key uh, kingdom paymaster or has become a kingdom paymaster, please text the word word kingdom to 832-345-3602 because that will help me uh, not go through all the giving things that people gave last week and try to find your phone number, find your name and all those different things. I'd rather just be able to go straight directly to you. So if you are a kingdom paymaster concerning Breakthrough Harvest Church, please text the word kingdom uh, to that number that's on your screen uh, this morning if you can do that. All right. And so we'll talk more about that on Friday, again, about uh, becoming a kingdom paymaster. And I definitely appreciate all of you all uh, for doing that. All of you that are standing with us uh, in ministry. There's a lot we have to do and a lot of things we're trying to get done and a lot of people we need to help. All right. And so we definitely appreciate 
uh, you guys standing with us and being with us as it relates to these things. And so let me go ahead and remind you of the conference that is coming up. Don't forget about the Breakthrough 2024 conference. We want you to be a part of it. It's going to be taking place here in Houston, June 28th through the 30th. And so if you are in Houston or if you're not in Houston, come be with us in Houston. We definitely want you to be with us. It's going to be a great, great, great time in the presence of the Lord. And we don't want you to miss it. We want you to be here with us to celebrate that Sunday morning. It's going to be powerful. I'll be laying hands, speaking the word of the Lord, and uh, just really activating many of you prophetically on that Sunday morning. And so we definitely want you to set some time aside to be with us here June 28th through the 30th for our Breakthrough 2024 conference. All right. And so let's get ready to take our communion this morning. Hallelujah. Let's get our bread in our hand. The Bible says as often as we eat of the bread and drink of the cup, we do show forth the Lord's death until he comes. And so I'm going to pray for many of you in just a moment, but let's go ahead and take our holy communion. And so we get the bread in our hand this morning and we say we are walking in divine health, divine healing, and there's no sickness in our body, no pain in our body, no anxiety in our body. Today we receive total healing and deliverance. And today we decree and declare that we are free right now. We are connected to God and connected to the benefit of the Holy Communion. And so as we take this bread today, we receive all the benefits of the broken body of Jesus. Let's take the bread, let us break, and let us all eat together. Let's take the cup that represents the new covenant of the blood of Jesus. And as we hold it up today, we decree and declare, hallelujah. We decree and declare we are healed, we are set free, and we are redeemed through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Today we receive every benefit. We receive the overflow of the anointing. And we send it into our body on this search and destroy mission to destroy everything that is not in the will of God. We thank you right now for your power and your Holy Spirit and the redemption power of the blood, the protection through the blood. The DNA of a champion is flowing through our veins on today. We receive it now together in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Come on, somebody decree and declare that it is done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. All right, so listen, make sure you guys text me to get back in. If you're still having some type of error or some type of issues doing that, again, they're still working on uh, the system. Uh, if you need to send an email, of course, you can do that. Our email address is listed on our website, bhclife.com. And so you can reach out to us that way as well uh, and send us an email at bhclifehouston at gmail.com. Again, that's bhclifehouston.com. Houston at gmail.com and you can visit our website bhclife.com to get that email address if you did not catch it uh, and so you can definitely communicate with us I want to be able to communicate with each and every one of you and so please make sure you do that if you have any other issues with the text messaging let me know so I can give the company your name and that way they can kind of figure out why you're still having issues with your texting all right so God bless you and let me go ahead and release the blessing of the Lord over you today father in the name of Jesus I pray for every individual that's under the sound of my voice I pray pray today, Father, that you will meet every need. I pray, Lord God, that you will begin to move greatly on their behalf. I bind every spirit of the enemy that wants to try to operate in their mind, their body, their soul, their finances. And I decree and declare that elevation is taking place in their life. I decree and declare that breakthrough is coming for them. Now, Father, I release the blessing upon this your people and I decree that they are blessed and highly favored everything their hands touch shall produce much I decree and declare that there's no lack no tragedy no sickness no pain no type of negativity operating in their life today we seal this with the blood of Jesus we say it's done in Jesus mighty name amen and amen and amen well God bless you we look forward to seeing you tomorrow the same time same place right here on command your day God bless you we love you thank you all again for your love and your support and we look forward to being with you on tomorrow have a great great rest of your day in the Lord and we'll see you tomorrow make sure you continue to share we love you be blessed